Hello my dear family members, today I am going to share an important coding snippet which will be very much helpful for your upcoming Accenture exam because if you know this snippet then you will be able to solve 10 to 12 coding questions like palindrome coding, count digits, sum of the digits, palindrome, convert palindrome, strong number, unstrong number and many other okay. So if you know like a reverse number as well and uh, like and many other okay so if you know this coding snippet then you will be able to solve many other coding questions okay so have patience and watch carefully okay so before i start i would recommend you to have the prime materials of accenture or any company that you want in which i have included all the recent coding questions all the previous year all the aptitude and technical questions and also the mock test okay so to get that knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf I'll try to assist you. This is paid but very affordable. Okay, so I hope you do so. So let's start. Okay, so at first, uh, let's say you will be given a number and you have to store the last digit, right? And with that last digit, you have to do some operations, arithmetic operations to achieve your goal, right? So and then you have to reduce the last digit, I mean, remove the last digit from the uh, n to sorry this should be n right to to do what to actually move to the next iteration for the while loop right so, and you have to run the while loop until or unless n not equal to 0 to achieve your goal right and you have to at first store the uh, i mean you have to at first initialize result as 0 to do some operations with result right so this much of code is very much important why i am going to explain so let's uh, look at some problems i mean uh, various problems which is being implemented by this concept so this is the first problem which is being implemented by the same concept right so in the in the exam maybe you, you will be asked like write a program to find sum of digits of a number right this might be very uh, easy to you but uh, this is very important for many of our family members who are preparing for competitive programming right so if uh, input is 373 then output is 13 why 37 uh, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 right so uh, you have to find uh, you have to write the code so the same concept right so at first run a while loop until or unless n becomes 0 and store the last digit how n mod 10 so this is actually store the last digit so it will at first store 3 then i mean, I mean this 3 right and then uh, it will do this arithmetic operations by which it will store 0 plus 3 and uh, the result becomes 3 and it reduces the last digit remove the last digit from n right okay and it, this means n is equal to n by 10 right uh, okay so uh, the number n becomes 3 7 right okay and it will go to the uh, the, the, the control goes to here and this checks if n not equal to 0 yes 37 not equal to 0 and it, it will again store the last digit that is now uh, 37 so it will store the last digit that is 7 right okay then it will do the same arithmetic operations so result was what 3 and 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 now right okay now it will uh, the, the, the control will go here and n is equal to n by 10 will be uh, 3 right so 37 by 3 is equal to 3 right okay now the loop uh, control will go here and n is still not equal to 0 so last digit will be uh, 3 mod 10 that will be 3 right not 0 right okay now it will uh, do the same arithmetic operations result is equal to result plus last digit so result was 10 plus 3 is equal to 13 and it will go here and 3 by 10 uh, sorry 3 and n is equal to 3 by 10 that is 0 right okay 
so i hope you understood then it, if if the control goes here and in it will check if n not equal to zero no this is not set being satisfied so it will just out go out of the while loop and uh, do the next operations right okay now if you just print the result then you will get the sum of digits right so this same concept is uh, very much important for any uh, many other problems as well so let's see so let's say you are asked about to solve the problem i mean to write a program to find reverse a number right reverse a number is also important concept in competitive programming so please i'm giving you the task please do the problem solve the problem and give the answers in the comment section so that i will be very much motivated and i will be uploading such videos in which i will give you a code snippet and by which you will be able to solve many coding problems right so if you want please be uh, please be continue be be consistent in my content and please give answers right okay so please solve this problem using the same concept and if you are uh, looking for palindrome problem now then this is very important right sorry so let me copy the code from here okay if you are going to solve the problem uh, of palindrome number so let's say the number is uh, 373 now okay so now you are asked to find write a program to find palindrome number right so at first the input is 373 that is n is equal to 373 and you are initializing result is equal to 0 right and you are looping until or unless n not equal to 0 so at first you are uh, storing last digit right so n mod 10 is equal to uh, what 30 uh, sorry 3 right so now you have to just modify the arithmetic operations 10 multiply result plus last digit and you will get the desired output just uh, modifying a little right so now result becomes 10 into 0 at first so result was 0 10 into 0 is 0 plus last digit is equal to 3 right so at first the result is 3 now n becomes 37 and n is not equal to 0 now so it is true and it, again it the, the last digit variable store n mod 10 that means what uh, that is the number was 37 and the last digit is now 7 and uh, the result was 3 so 3 multiplied 10 is th uh, 30 plus last digit is 7 so this becomes 37 and the number was 37 so 37 uh, by 10 if you are reduced by one digit then the number becomes 3 so again it will check if not equal to 0 yes not equal to 0 and last digit will be what uh, last digit will be 3 right so now result was 37 so 37 multiplied 10 is equal to 370 plus last digit, last digit is equal to 3 so 373 right and it will be now 0 right n is equal to 3 by 10 is equal to 0 right okay now you will be checking if now you have to implement if a uh, block to check if the n the same n is equal to equal to 373 if you are getting the same then this is a palindrome or if this is not same then this is not a palindrome right and here is a catch what that is n now becomes what n now becomes zero so you will not you should not check if n equal to equal to result right so as we are incorporating the values of n so we have to store uh, the n's value into a new variable right so let's say where is equal to n right so at first you have to store the value of n into a new variable to uh, to manipulate the value right so i hope you understood and in the same way you will be asked like uh, convert the number into a palindrome number or you will be asked uh, like uh, if the input is 7676 7, then how many numbers how many digits you will have to add 
or concatenate with the number to make this a palindrome number this is very much important for if you are preparing for accenture or if you are preparing for uh, tech mahindra right so please uh, be aware of that right so i am giving you a task please solve this problem uh, by uh, just after watching the video right okay now uh, the, in the same concept you will have to solve the problem like armstrong number right so you'll be given like input 370 and you have to find if this is a if this is an armstrong number or not so what is armstrong number that is if you uh, do this operations then it will be 370 right so if this becomes 370 this 3 is the size of this right count uh, count of the digits right so just do this operations and check if this is becoming the same as it was right so if this then the number is armstrong number right and uh, now uh, you will be you can be asked right uh, find armstrong number in a given range right so you will be given like a uh, find armstrong number between 1 to 1 to 1000 right one two thousand so you have to find that so please uh, run a for loop and so uh, implement this same logic and find all the armstrong number between one two thousand and please if you are solving uh, these problems then don't forget to copy and paste the answers in the comment section i will like i and i'll give you a heart to your comment right and in the same concept you'll be asked to like uh, find strong number and what is strong number that is you have to store the last digit and you have to find the factorial of each digit and add those and make a sum of this 145 if this becomes 145 then this is a strong number according to this logic right and output is true so find uh, the answers as well and you can be asked like uh, this is various uh, several times that the problem asked about find count the digits right so how many how many digits are there just count right this is important for tech mahindra accenture tcs everywhere and uh, it might be very easy but you have to implement a uh, count of digits right so i hope uh, this session was very much helpful to you so if you want more such content then don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and don't forget to share this channel with your friends so that they can also take help from this right and before i end the session i would like to inform you that i have prepared uh, two materials at the, as of now that is one of tcs and one of uh, is uh, accenture so i have included all the previous year coding questions and all the uh, mock test you require so if you want then please knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.uf i will provide you right so thank you for today's session